really frustrating because I updated macOS, updated VirtualBox, and I started getting a kernel driver error or an NS error failure. And I'm like, what is the problem here? You know, this always works flawlessly. And I figured, okay, maybe it needs a restart because sometimes when you update macOS, it does that, you know? So I restarted nothing. I tried all these methods, restarted, uninstalling VirtualBox, nothing worked until I got desperate and I saw this little arrow next to the start and I didn't know you could start it three different ways there's a normal headless and detachable so from what I understand headless starts it right here in this little preview window and detachable kind of starts it in the other window but allows you to close that window and run it in the background kind of cool but I was like you know what let's just try it I hit the headless start and it worked it literally worked so I'm not sure if that's a fix like a bypass for the kernel driver if you're having problems with that uh, but it doesn't hurt to try it and I even tried it also with creating a new machine and it's doing that start like that and it worked as well and then all you have to do is click show and it brings it up normally so yeah guys that might be a quick little fix for your kernel driver problem you literally just choose a different start method on the virtual machine so yeah quick tip for today for you let me know if that works i hope it does i don't know <laughs> but anyways that's all i got today i'll see you all in the next one